Uh, could the government, uh, rather than uh, coerce uh, uh, a third party, simply uh, entice uh, them to reach the same suppression, do the, the exact same thing, and suppress speech? Well, it depends, Justice Thomas, what you mean by entice. If it doesn't rise to the level of significant encouragement under well, What's the difference? Well, Bloom requires that significant encouragement essentially overwhelm the, the judgment of the independent, the intermediary, whereas And what entice, would that look like uh, in this would, case? In, in this case, I mean, I think you could kind of, I think you could think of the offer of leniency that Vulo made to Lloyds as either a form of significant encouragement because she's saying we will go easy on you for some legal violations or as a threat basically saying we will bring these enforcement actions against you if you do not stop doing business with gun groups. So coercion and significant encouragement are two sides of the same coin as Mr. Fletcher said earlier.